Hi guys. Here's a video, a in-depth video, I should say, about um, RV and res residential air conditioning and heating. Uh, at least from my experience in my uh, Jayco, it's a 355 MBQS. It has two air conditioners and one furnace. It's all ducted. Anyway, so I want to explain what I did. Uh, I changed my... I haven't changed this one. This is this is the the master bedroom air conditioning, and I want to start with this one uh, to kind of explain the wiring that I found. I've never done any AC HVAC before, so all new to me. So that's why it's kind of starting at the beginning. So let's talk about this. Uh, so you got cool fan and off, and you got high low or on your fan. You have auto high and low. Um, so the first difference I want to talk about with residential to RV is that uh, residential only has one fan control or one fan speed. Uh, RVs have two. So you know, I'm gonna pull this off. Uh, this is the I'm gonna start. This is this is a simpler one. Um, so we got red, yellow gray, green, and blue. Um, kind of explain what each wire does. So red here is your 12 volt positive. Blue is your common or 12 volt negative. So it's kind of different than you know other electronics. I do a lot of electronic stuff. So it kind of threw me off where blue was ground or blue was negative. And then green when the green wire gets uh, 12 volts, that is your high speed fan. Gray is your low speed fan. And yellow is your, what they call, I believe it's called, um, uh, well, it's for cooling. So it's, it's a call for cool or something like that. Anyway, but that's what triggers the cooling. And I'm gonna stop it there. I wanna show you, I'm gonna go grab the Coleman uh, the one little bit, so that's the cooling part. Now I'm going to grab the other thermostat, which is the one that has heating. And I'm going to put it side by side to this one. All right, so here is the uh, one that has a, another switch on it that says heat. Uh, the Coleman Mach, again. So the only difference between this one here... And this one here is number one, you have heat, which means, give me a second here, you have one additional white wire, and that is your uh, heat, um, just call for heat. And it still has your high low fan, your common, and your yellow for cooling, and red for your 12 volt positive. Now I'm going to run down to the, I just upgraded my thermostat with a Honeywell, found it on clearance at Walmart, it's a programmable thermostat for 15 bucks. but anyway, I'll go show you how it hooked up. Alright guys, so here is the new Honeywell thermostat, and uh, I'll tell you I had a little bit of difficulty hooking this up, not knowing what I know now, of course. Um... So this has heat, cool, off, and the fan and auto. It does not have high or low fan. So now I'm going to show you some wiring. So here in the back, I was a, I was a little confused because I usually get the thermostat wire. I'm thinking heat, but this brown wire right here with four conductors is actually your goes to your AC, and then. That big, thick, red, no, it's like a 12 gauge, or, yeah, it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 12 gauge, but anyway, that is goes to your heater. I'm a little surprised at that, because it doesn't need to be that thick, but that's what the manufacturer supplied. The extra screw hole there that somebody used to mount the old Coleman one. Anyway, let's go back to here. So, again, wiring color codes. You know, G is green, that's your fan. Uh, that's your high fan. Low fan is actually this white wire. 
and the fan control only goes to the AC unit. There is no fan control for the heater. Uh, the it's marked uh, Y, which is yellow, which goes to the red wire on this one. Interesting pick, but I get I get it why, and I'll tell you in a minute. And then uh, I can get it to focus here. Uh, red is your 12 volt, and your 12 volt power actually is. I got it wire netted here just to make it better. I should have done it with the white negative there as well. So a big difference here. So the blue wire, which is you know, in that spot right there, usually I would think that you need a common wire. But in the residential, if I hook up that blue wire to there and switch it to heat, I pop my 12 volt uh, or my yeah my 12 volt system, 15 amp fuse down in the the breaker box down there. Found out the hard way. So disconnect the blue. And I found that online. So your blue to there just goes to your this is actually your 12 volt ground uh, for your that comes into this whole area that's got all this stuff. Anyway, so, but, uh, and then your positive, I should pull this out just to show you. Positive doesn't even terminate here for the, for the, uh, that's your, that's your positive. It just passes right through here. So, anyway, but that is 12 volts. That's 12 volts actually coming from your furnace, and that white is your furnace wire. So there's only two wires for your furnace. And then the white wire here, which is my low um, speed fan. Ignore it. Well, you can act. There is another modification you can make, which is you put in a little toggle switch. So you could actually switch between high and low fan speed. But I've never used the low fan speed, so I just capped it off. I'm going to shove it back in the wall. Um, and then the blue, of course, I kept that one. So, there's one other little thing that you need to do here uh, with a residential, uh, and that's shown on the back of this one, and it's common for many, but you see this little toggle switch that says gas or oil? Make sure it's on gas. You don't have one on electric or heat pump. And the reason why, the theory is, and it's a good not really a theory but the way it works is that the uh, residential electric heat whether you're in heating or cooling mode they share the same fan if it's gas it has its own fan built into the furnace it doesn't so you don't want to turn that fan control on when it's hooked to because um, that one goes to your air conditioner if you don't switch that switch then when you have it in heat, it'll turn on your air conditioning fans. So there you go. Um, and I figured that one out too. Anyway, that's the whole thing. So I'll give you, I'll push this, put this all back and then show you a, a picture of the finished product. All right, there we go. Took a pretty short time just to put it all back. But there is a lot of wiring behind here, including 110 to the ceiling fan, generator prep, your 12 volt lights and dimmers. And uh, maybe next video I'll show you a, a modification I wanna make to all these lights, which the main thing is, see those hallway lights? It sure would be nice to be able to just come into, you know, through the front door, and oops, see close on the floor. Come to the front door and have a switch here to turn on the hallway light, and another switch there to, down by the the master bedroom there to turn off the hallway lights, separate from you know all the lights controlled by this one dimmer. Anyway, next video. Uh, that's it. Um, should I show you? Cool. Uh, so. One other thing I want to mention, inside here there is a safety, it's called a compressor saver for your air conditioning, where it'll actually, it's got a timer inside that if you shut it off, your air conditioning off, and then turn it back on again real quick, 
uh, it will pause for five minutes before it will actually turn your compressor on. That might throw you, but you'll know it because this one and this one start flashing. And that's a setting, if you get the manual for this, you can actually turn that off inside the, the thermostat. So it can be a pain, but I don't know if it's worth turning it on for an RV or I, I don't know enough about it. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.